KPI widgets can be so helpful in telling the story of your data, but it's not so obvious how you create them. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. For this demo, I'm using an app from the App Exchange called the CRM Starter. Now I've gone in and created a dashboard. This dashboard does not come standard with the app, but using the reports that were already built, I set up a dashboard by coming in, creating a new page, and using this dashboard style page. Let's look at that page. Now we wanna create a KPI widget. If we come in and go to modify the dashboard by unlocking it, come over and say, okay, let's add a KPI widget and there's no widget there. Maybe under reports, is that where I find it? Choose the report and even here, there's nothing that really points to it being a KPI widget. And you're right, there's nothing that's gonna say KPI on it, even though that's how these are always referred to. In order to start our KPI widget, we'll first go to the table where the data exists. I'll use the opportunities table in this app because it has some dollar amounts and other information that'll help create really rich KPIs. I'll create a new report. This will be a chart report. Again, no mention of KPIs yet. And click create. And this will be, let's say, total value of all opportunities. The type of report will be the gauge chart. Not intuitive to associate gauges with KPIs, but that's what we're doing here. This gauge chart is going to measure our KPI. This will be the amount. We don't need to give a lot of labels and things because these are gonna be really simplified once they hit that dashboard. What we may wanna consider is our gauge limits and goals, where the gauge starts and where it goal would be for this KPI. In here, I know we're dealing with several million dollars, so I'm gonna set our goal at two million. And just below, you can see the color ranges. Now this is where the gauge charts can help us create more visual indicators, and this will extend to our KPI on the dashboard as well, for how well we're doing against that goal. So what this shows here is at that low point, which would be 30% of our goal, you can see the legend up here, we're gonna see it in red. If we are hitting 30 to 70% of our goal, then we're gonna be in the medium category, which is yellow. And if we're above 70%, then we're in the high category, which is green. Fantastic. And of course we can change these, right? These don't have to be red, yellow, and green. They could be shades in the same color scheme, whatever works best for you. We'll start with this and I'll give you another option on the next report that we create. And let's go ahead and filter these opportunities to a status of not equal to closed. So everything that's still in the pipeline. Save that. Now you can see we're in that 30 to 70% range with 1.3 million. Fantastic. Now we'll create our next chart. Let's head in here and add another new chart. Again, this will be a chart. This will be our total opportunity forecast. Again, we're going to use that gauge chart, and this time I'll use the forecast. I'm going to leave the start at zero, not put in a goal, and change my high value to the color that I want, and I'll just make it black. None of these other ranges will really matter because we're going to instantly hit our goal, right? It's, it's just, I just want it to be that color no matter what the number is. Same filter, not equal to closed. Save. Now with our two reports built, we can head back to our dashboard to create those KPI widgets. I'll unlock the dashboard, choose report, that was from our opportunities table, scroll down and select my first report, now these are gonna be rather small. Uh, I can include the titles, and depending on how those look, we might wanna think about abbreviations and such to keep them small within the space that we have. I have a target here, so I will show the target. I won't get into the including the delta. That's a bit of a longer conversation about how that works. The scale, I wanna lock in that scale. I can use this, and I actually do. I'm gonna set this at millions. 
and the number of decimal places one is fine. And that's all we need for now. Allow this to hit my dashboard. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. Let's make it a little bit bigger. See how it's cutting that name off? So I might want to think about total, maybe op value, something like that. Let's add our second KPI widget or report using a gauge chart from the opportunities table. And now our forecast includes that title. Maybe we'll just call this forecast dollars. And like I said, uh, we set that scale to be consistent. So this way we're getting millions and millions on both of our KPIs. No matter what the numbers change to, they'll stay consistent between these two different KPI widgets. I'm going to remove the target since we did not set a target or a goal in that gauge chart. Add to the dashboard. I can make this a little bit larger. And just for fun, let's go into one of our opportunities and push this up over that two million goal. So if we just throw, let's say, another million dollars in here, I'll grid edit. It'll easily put us over the goal. Back home. And now you see that KPI widget has changed from kind of an orangey yellow to green. So that, my friends, is how you add KPI widgets to your dashboards using the gauge chart and the report function for the dashboards. If you liked this video, there's a whole lot more going on over at quickbasejunkie.com slash training. And when you're ready, I'll see you in the first lesson. If you found this video helpful, let me know. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye for now.